Hello YouTube land. How are you today? I have Adobe Illustrator 2023 open and we're gonna go check out one of the tutorials. These tutorials are approved by Adobe. I decided to choose them so that you can work with me and just you know check out the tutorials along with my tutorial at the same time if you have two screens and do it that way all right so on the left here I clicked on the word learn when I first booted up Adobe Illustrator 2023 and this is what came up on the screen at the top you always find your menu items so let's go over here and let's check out jump into color today I click once on that to open it up and this is what opens up the tutorial box the box that you'll be working with in the back on the left you'll see icons that relate to all the tools at the top you'll see the menus and on the right you'll see some panels in this tutorial which is created by Rita Amladi so you'll see the instructor name right here Adobe Learn Instructor that's who this person is who created the tutorial this she called it drunk jump into color it's a hands-on tutorial for beginners that's four minutes long and that's always approximate of course discover how to apply color to your artwork then see how to mix a color, custom color and use it in your designs <clears throat> excuse me you can start the tutorial right here on this blue button if you click on browse more it'll show some more tutorials which we'll see uh, in a few moments I'll try to remember to click on that before I leave this tutorial if I forget we'll do it next time read more right down here this is very important click on read more when you see the underline like that in the little pointy finger in, at it then that means it will open up it's a link <clears throat> I will read it this to you because it's very important when you go through these tutorials assets can only be used in this tutorial and are sample files per Adobe's term of use you will need to buy a license to use the assets for other purposes some of the assets may be available for license on Adobe stock so check the copyright notice for each for more information check the asset copyright notice for more information there you go I'll go ahead and click on this to show you I think I can come right back to it see there are more tutorials right here at all different skill levels the little arrow back here should go back to where I was and it did not so let's click on this nope I lost where I was it's all right go back hands-on tutorials uh, let's see we want click on this one we want beginner and <clears throat> I want jump into color to go back to where I was graphic design orientation okay I'm gonna type it right up here see if it'll come up jo jump into color color whoops oops let's try typing correctly there jump into color 
Hmm. Well, it looks like I can't get back to it. <laughs> it might be one of these. I believe it is. Yeah. So if I click that, I'll find it right here. So we're going to go back into it. And that's the fun part about learning. You can click around. You're not going to break anything. Check it out. Just click all of that and check it out. So let's go back to here and start tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'm going to get a drink of water. There we go. Okay. So when we go into the tutorial, this is what you're going to see. This is the tutorial. These are the assets behind it. So I need to move this out of the way so you can see. I'm going to go right over here and click on this little hand tool. My cursor will turn into a hand. It doesn't need to for the tutorial section, but for this section it does. I need to click it like this and move it over by holding down the left button. It will be the right button if you're left handed. <coughs> All right. So here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to check this out. It says coloring an object 104. You can fill an object with color, apply color to its stroke, border, or do both. It shows you right here what you're doing as well. You can pause the video by clicking on it. Click on it again and it'll keep moving along click on it again see so as you're going along you can go and pause the video and then there you go see <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through the steps with you here you can fill an object with color apply color to a stroke border or do both and the first section is one select the selection tool. If you don't know where that is, there is a little tiny box-like icon over here with a pointiness on it. It says show location. You get the little finger pointing at it. It has a question mark in it, so click on it. After it closes the show location, click on it once, it'll close that. Click There we go. Click on it again. <laughs> select the selection tool way up here now when you see that you have to click on the tool itself that'll close the blue box it'll put a black box around the tool that you selected it'll show some information about that right here you can always click on learn more to learn more about that tool <coughs> excuse me when you select click on the selection tool or any other tool the mouse turns into that tool and there you go so next step is to click the orange circle behind the ice cream cone right here when I click on it I'm gonna have this blue looking box around the perimeter of the circle because I clicked inside the circle itself not inside the ice cream cone inside the circle and then we're going to have two different color like anchors here that we're going to go over later <clears throat> and then the next step says in the properties panel click the orange square next to the word fill as shown and if I click on this it will show you right here this is the properties panel if I click inside here, the blue box will go away. The Properties panel always relates to what you have selected. If I go down here and I select right in this little gray area, the Properties panel will relate to that gray area right where I clicked. If I go over here and I click the top of this little cupcake, the Properties panel is going to go to the little tiny area that I clicked on and it will have all the information that relates to that area, that little tiny box. If I click on the color 
that's like a green aqua color then it changes to have all the information that relates to that circle and that color everything is separated which is really cool that's what gives you so much control in these programs all of them <clears throat> excuse me again number four well let's go back and click on the orange circle at right where we left off okay so number four in the, oh we have to click on the fill button number three says click on that fill button fill box it's a box it says fill that means the color that it's filled in with and you'll find that it has a little square here and a little square on the color here so in the panel that opens this is called a panel make sure the swatches button the grid icon is selected at the top so this is the grid icon it's selected by knowing um, by seeing this black box around it that means it's selected if I click on this one the black box goes around that one if I click on that one it goes around this one here it's very important to pay attention to the screen so you know what's going on okay and <clears throat> once you're in that swatches button which these are all called swatches click then click any color in the swatches panel to replace the fill color so these are swatches that are in this panel and this is a swatches button the colored squares you see in the panel are called swatches these default swatches are built into every new document you make so let's click one we're gonna click a crazy color how about green there <clears throat> then to close this panel you can click over here in an empty space to close this you can click in another empty space like that let's click next the next one is click the gray circle behind the cake so here we're going to create a custom color you can expand your color choices by creating a custom color so by doing so we're going to click on this gray circle behind the cake this is the cake this is a gray circle click in the properties panel click the gray fill color which is right here again <clears throat> At the top of the panel click the color mixer button which is the paint palette and that will be right here you'll find all of the colors of the rainbow in the bar at the bottom right here and that little tiny icon is a color picker four click anywhere in the colorful bar to pick a color you can use the sliders above to refine the color so let's click I don't know blue right and then click in an empty area of the document to hide the panel so we're gonna click up here to customize that color blue and when you're sliding it it doesn't change until you let go of the slider so Right, uh, left click on this little icon right here to move the slider move it over and then let go of the mouse button and then it will change left click hold drag let go and there it changes okay then click inside here in order to show or not show that particular panel again at the moment close it so now we're going to click in the white space again 
and we're just going to leave everything unchecked and unclicked and go back to the panel that relates to the background and click next <clears throat> saving your custom color if you want to reuse your custom color in the document save it as a swatch in the swatches panel so one with the color still selected click the fill color box in the properties panel again so let's go back to the circle click on the circle when you click on the circle you can click on the little fill box because the information here is going to relate to that circle and so you'll see that background color that circle right here and right here and right here now here um, that looks a little darker so let's see I was just thinking how do I let me see mm. okay we're just gonna keep going all right number four give the swatch a unique name and click next oh number three at the bottom of the panel click the new swatch button plus sign all right whoops let's go back to the panel right here then we click on the plus sign then we give it a new name We'll call this uh, lavender, <clears throat> right? And then right here it says, give the swatch a unique, unique name and click OK right here. We'll go over more details later. OK, your color is saved as a swatch with a tiny white triangle in the corner right there. A little tiny triangle in the white around it shows that's the one that you're using right now your color is saved right if you edit that color it changes anywhere it's applied oh so if i double click on the color so if i click this i click this i go here i double click on the color Oops, I go here. If I double click on it and then I edit it, let's see what it does. Okay, I click OK. Ooh, it didn't do anything. Ah, there we go. Select it and it changes it in both areas. After I changed it in its own box, I have to close that and then click select by clicking on it one time, not twice, and it'll change it in both areas. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, applying color to a stroke. Now you can reuse the custom color elsewhere in your strokes uh, in your artwork to create a cohesive look one click one of the orange lines inside of the layer cake right here two select the other line shift click the second orange line so you press the shift key click inside the second orange line and they both are selected together <coughs> Excuse me. From the menus above, choose View, Zoom In a couple of times for a closer look. Let's move this over so it gives us space. Click on View. Click on Zoom In. Now, before I do that, I want to point out to the right of the words here, all of this information. Those are keyboard shortcuts that you can use instead of these over here so this these over here if I click on view and zoom in will zoom in if I click on see this is control plus plus so if I do not click on view let me see if I can close this close it by clicking down here 
I do not click on it. Oops, I gotta go back to my... Uh-oh. Hold on. There we go. Whoops, nope, that's not what I want. Nope, nope, nope. Go back to the beginning. See, that? don't be afraid to click everywhere. That's fine. I made a little clicky mistake. Sometimes some people would like to click everywhere, and then you got to go back to where you were. So here's where we were. So if I press Control and the plus sign, which is next to the backspace, <clears throat> and I see how it does when you press the Control key? Right. And then plus, plus, like that. There we go. So from the menu above, choose View Zoom. We got that. Now we're zoomed in. In the Properties panel, click, panel, click the orange color box in the left of the word Stroke and select your custom color in the swatches. So we're going to click on here. This is orange, orange, orange. We're going to click on, let me see, select your custom color. Let's see, we'll pick mm, brown, and then, oh, let's click white. Let's see, we got cream in there, yeah. And then, click on the orange color in the box, click on stroke, select the color, and then five to see the whole sticker sheet again, fit artboard in window. So we're just going to leave this like this, we're just moving right along, click on view, and it automatically closes the little fill window. <clears throat> click on view again, and it'll open up this menu. Click on Fit Artboard in Window, and there you go. Okay, so we're going to click Next, and there you go. We're back to the beginning. Now you can click anywhere inside of here, and that will unselect that. There you go. And then you just learned how to create colors, select colors, select items, and have fun with that. So you can do that in all of these and have a practice in all of them doing those steps. And you'll learn how to do that very quickly and have a good time if you want, if you have any questions about any detail uh, that relates to computers at all, please subscribe and please have a comment down there so that I can find you and we can get together. We can do a live stream um, and then I can show you those steps or that information that you want. All right, let's have some fun learning together. Bye-bye. Have a great day.